Hello, welcome to a new exciting creature tutorial. This tutorial is going to cover the newly enhanced Deep AI Walk feature in the Creature Animation Tool. And I am going to demonstrate to you what it can do. Uh, as you know, there is a previous Deep AI Walk tutorial where I basically went through the core ideas of Deep AI Walk. Essentially, it's using the powers of deep learning and deep AI to actually generate for you automated walk cycle motion. And I'm very happy to announce that in this latest revision, I've also added a training a set of training data for hands as well so in other words you can now use deep ai walk to generate automated hand moving hand rotation motion and also automated leg rotation motion so it's getting close to a full body a set of full body automated generated motions from deep ai walk right so let's go through the core concepts of deep ai walk and I'm, today i'm going to show you how to use deep ai walk to animate a simple walk cycle of this character and with this new enhanced version we're going to animate both the legs of this character and also the hands of this character right so deep ai walk is for windows pro version of creature and to run it you move your mouse over here to the deep ai walk icon and you click on it right okay and it will say you need to download the deep AI, download the AI package. So you basically download it. It's a zip file. You unzip it, right? And then it gives you a package folder. So that the package folder basically contains the contents of the deep AI walk files. But what you do is you, you actually select the folder because the folder consists of all the files that's required. So not specific files. That's the new enhancement because we're basically adding different files for different parts of the body. So it uh, all these files constitute the entire training set, the entire brain, if you will, the AI brain of the body. So the next thing you're going to do after you unzipped it is to open the package, right? So over here, let's try to open the package and I have it saved in test okay so when you unzip it you're going to see the the package folder but it's actually going to be under the name deepwalk.demove this is the folder that you want right and don't worry if you selected the wrong folder deep AI walk will give you a warning say you couldn't find it find the required file so you just pick the right folder but the folder in this case is called dwalk.demove move and this is the folder that will appear after you have unzipped the downloaded deep AI walk package so select the folder okay and click close and it will initialize the AI brain and there you go let's maximize this and let's take a look so welcome to deep the new enhanced deep AI walk as you can see now there is there are hands as well as the legs previously there were only hand, uh, just the legs right and so before we continue let us actually link up the character with the deep AI walk system, right? So first thing we do is to actually select the root bone, the root bone, and click set, all right? And then we're actually gonna walk up the leg. So click on the base leg bone if you if you want and hold down control and N that allows you to walk up the bone chain. Okay, so you need three bones for each leg. So click set, all right? And then do the same for the other leg and click set. Right, and because we're gonna demonstrate this new enhanced version, it also does hands as well. So now pick hands, and we'll do the same thing as, as well. So again, pick these bones on the first limb, and pick these bones on the second limb. Right, okay, so let's go back to the deep AI walk system. Now, let's do the legs first. I am going to try to make, make this character walk like you know, normally, not, not like a really wide gait. I'm going to give it a, a much shorter gait, just a, a very casual walk, if you if you will. So I'm going to move these legs f slightly backwards to the end pose, right? So again, these three poses, the start, middle, and end, define the three starting, middle, and end poses of your walk cycle. And the AI system will actually figure out for you automatically the timing. As you can see, it's not just a simple interpolation. It actually figures out the nuances, the timing, and even twists of the different heels and, and different parts of the joints. So it's pretty cool. It's all learned from trained data, like thousands and thousands of mocap data that was used to train the system. Now, you can also change, obviously, the tilt of the feet, if you, if you must. So it's all, it's all up to you, 
right? I am going to, let's say, I'm going to move this just a bit more because I want a more casual walk. So now you can see now it's, 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 a, it's a more casual, small gait, if you will. All right, so you can, you can play, around, play around with these parameters and, and get it to your, tweak it to your heart's content, as you will. Okay, so this is the more casual walk cycle I have made. Maybe that tweak it, tweak it a bit more. Okay, or maybe I want more of a twist. Okay, but you can see how easy it is to actually get the walk you want because you can give it different start, middle, and end poses and it will actually figure out for you a walking style. The brain, AI brain will figure that out for you. Okay, so let's get on to the more interesting part of deep AI walk, which is the hand portion or, or the hands, right? So now we've also trained the hands as well. And so you can actually go in and change the hand poses, right? And that will allow you, there you go, that's more a wider pose. That actually allows you to have hand hand animation, basically hand, hand animation, animation to hand animation for your character. So now it's getting, as I said, close to a full body walk cycle. That's the end goal, where you can basically pose both the hands and the legs of your character and get a really cool result with almost no effort at all. And you can obviously tweak them after they are done because they get written all into keyframes, right? Okay, so I'm gonna do, say, maybe a, again, it's casual walk, so let's just do something like this. Maybe move this a bit forwards. Okay, so this is a very casual walk that I want for my character, right? And then the next final step is to simply transfer all this motion from deep AI walk over here onto my character. Right, so now we're gonna transfer it over to our character and it's super simple. You can obviously tweak these values. It determines how much bounce or gait there is. And I'm gonna set this a bit lower because we're doing a very casual walk. So I'm gonna set this to 0 0.05 so it doesn't bounce that much. And you can see the preview in the preview window over here. Now, you can also set the detail and this determines how how coarse or how detailed the animation splines or knots are going to write back into the system. Because remember, it converts everything back into FK, so you can tweak it again to your heart's content. So once you're ready, let's do the legs first. Okay, so just click apply. All right, and if I play the animation, you can see my characters already started walking. Kind of cool, yeah? Okay, but that's something we've seen before. Let's do the hands as well. Again, just click apply because again, all the limb bones have been linked up. So, and there you have it. <laughs> we just created a really cool walk cycle in a super short amount of time using the powers of, of AI. And I think that is super, super cool. And we are obviously going to enhance this feature even more in the future. But for now, you should be happy to know that you can now do both legs and hands for your character using deep AI walk, using the powers of deep learning. And I hope you enjoy this feature and we will obviously be enhancing this even further in the future. I see great potential for this entire concept and idea for even cooler stuff for creature moving forwards. Thanks for watching.